This week, Big Pond Game Arena dropped into the home of the soon-to-be-released Wii Games console. Welcome to Nintendo HQ. Come on in. With around six weeks until launch day for the Wii, Nintendo allowed our cameras in for a better look around their Wii room. It was decked out with half a dozen of the new consoles and plenty of launch titles ready to pick up and play. So we've really provided a new way for people to play games as well as a way for people to get into gaming that weren't into it before. So first up, we asked Visby from Nintendo to wave the wireless remote around and give us a demo of the Wii Sports Package. Wii Sports features five sports games on it. So there's tennis, there's baseball, uh, there's boxing, there's bowling, and there's also golf. Another good example of the Wii Remote in action, we also previewed Wii Play, a package of highly addictive mini-games. Yeah, they're great games. I mean, they're great titles. Just, the, again, the type of thing that you can easily pick up, play, and it's the type of stuff that you can really only do with this remote. Possibly one of the best examples of the Wii Remote and Nunchuck controllers in action is the upcoming Metroid Prime Hunters 3. It really shows that with the Nunchuck accessory, you can really evolve your control level and go well beyond any control method that's out there at the moment. Perhaps that's why Nintendo feels that the new Legend of Zelda game is a real breakthrough. It's the strongest launch title for any console since maybe Mario 64 for the N64. You know, it's that sort of game. There's just enough time for one last crack at Wii Sports. Strikes all round, especially at Christmas time for Nintendo. From the handheld front and the home console front, um, yeah, we're expecting things from this Christmas and moving into next year.